welcome to this video. If you're new here, hi, my name is Becca and I do toy related videos mostly. And this is gonna be my Sylvanian car collection video. So I do have four cars at the moment and I will show them all to you. And one of these cars I haven't actually opened yet. So I'm gonna do a unboxing at the same time, which I think is a bit fun. So I did get this car as a Christmas present. So it's been sitting for five months before I open it, but today was finally the time. This is the family picnic van and as all of the newer sets it's released and distributed by Epoch and this one was released in Europe in 2021 so last year. You can see the box has quite a lot of pictures of the car in different settings. It also shows how you can set it up together with the bakery shop starter kit to make kind of like a little bakery on wheels. And as I will show you this comes with a few different smaller accessories which is always fun. It's always nice to have those little extra things included to make the play more fun. And here you can see the smaller accessories that are included. This basket right here looks like a combination of a picnic basket and kind of like a suitcase. On the top of the lid you see here you can actually put the plates on. You can, you can snap them on right here and then place everything in the basket. It's quite nice but I feel like maybe you wouldn't, you know, just toss the cheese inside there. But, you know, I would probably think of this more like a suitcase than a picnic basket. Just because it feels more like it. And it do remind me of the suitcase that you get in the, some of the older cars. So maybe that's why. The drinks that you get here are two takeaway coffee mugs. And there's actually a little hole on the back so you can put these on the Sylvania figure's hands, which is nice. And you do get two croissants and two pieces of larger cheese. And I think the cheese was kind of fun because I don't remember getting those in many other sets, if no, in any. So these are nice accessories, but I think I personally would want to see something more like traditionally picnic related, like a thermos, maybe, you know, something like that, uh, some biscuits or like a sandwich instead of the takeaway mugs. The takeaway mugs are fun and all, but you know, just for that extra picnic feeling. So this is a larger car. You can see it has three rows of seats. So two normal single seats in the front. And then you have two seats in the back that you can actually change up. You can both change up the seats and the position of them. So you can see here when I pull it out, you can even have it like a normal seat or turn around to make some baby seats on it. And as you might have been able to tell before I switched it over, when you pull these out, you kind of can use them as, you know, normal picnic benches too, which is quite fun. And uh, you can see me here placing them in a different position. So you can even have them in a normal row style or you can have them facing each other. One thing that is a clear distinguish from this to the older car is the inside of the car. You can see the whole inside of this car is just one and the same color. So the seats, the floor, the sides, the steering wheel and all of that business is just this light brown color. And when I'm going to show you my other cars, which are older, they're going to look a bit different. So like in retrospect, maybe I should have shown you the older cars first and then you kind of can see the progress. But I really wanted to open this uh, car right now. <laughs> so yeah, uh, you can see the back right here opened up and you can use it as a table, which goes well with the seats when you take them out and set them up like a little picnic set. These are the stickers for the number plate and you kind of can see they are always really sweet. This one says lovely, kind of, uh, which is nice. And I, they have one from the front and of course one for the back. Other than that, there are no additional stickers that you need to place, which is quite nice. It would be nice to have something to fill out those uh, lights on the front and back but you don't do that in any of the other ones. I also wanted to have a possibility to put this basket in the back of the car because that's what the older cars have and you can see my other car right here and this is the blue family car and it was re released around 2010. I don't have an exact date for this but around that time and this was distributed by Flair so 
it's an older one and you can see it do have this cute number plate also and you can see I have my family already sitting here and if I take them outside you can see the different colors that I was talking about with the other card I was missing. The seats are one color, the floor is one color and you can see some details on the steering board. Mine has a little broken sticker right there, so you kind of can see that. It also have place for two little small baby seats and a basket right here, which my car is missing. But since recording this video, I have actually uh, purchased those, so hopefully I will get those soon. And I really like this color. It's a very calming color, I think. And I like the details on this side and on the back. You kind of can see it has this like cab uh, style where the roof is kind of being <laughs> turned down. I'm not sure how to explain it in English, but hopefully you get what I mean. And that's my car. And I think it's a lovely one. And you can, can see that I do like this mold of this car because I have the cream colored family car too. And that was released around the same time again by Flair. It does have another registry plate, which is nice. So you don't drive around with the same one. And here you can see the side details again. And on the back, you can see the suitcase that I was talking about that my other one was missing and also the baby seats in the car that you kind of can see you can attach to the front row seats. Again you can see inside that there are different colors in this car and you can see here the case is removable and you kind of can see that also this is kind of the same style that they had on the new picnic van uh, basket that they included there. But yeah, I really like this car. You can, you can see it has some details and it does have this little rubber band holding down the baby figures if you put them in the baby seat. So this is my last call. This is the family saloon car and I'm not sure when it was released. I tried to search online and the earliest post I found about this was in 2011. So about that time this car is old so this was released both by Flair and Epoch in the later dates. You can, you can see it still has these details in the car so the different colors and the sticker on the steering wheel and as you can see here I did not place my stickers on this car when I unbox this. So this car is from like my first round of collecting Sylvanians where I had kind of bad relationship with Sylvanian stickers uh, since they have a tendency to fall off. Uh, I usually glue down my stickers but uh, I didn't do it with this one so I'm gonna give them a number plate sticker right here. And you kinda can see you get three different ones to choose from, which I think is nice. It kinda has the older style and then some of the newer style. And this is also nice for me to keep if I find like a car and it doesn't have a number plate, I can just use the same one because they do have kind of the same size, which is nice. So Slovenia have actually made a few different red cars. They of course made this, the family saloon car. They also made a burgundy family car, which is the same mold as my other two family cars, just in different colors. They also made a convertible car, which goes to more of the reddish orange color. And also a new family cruising car, which is from the bit of a newer era. So the inside of that is more similar to the pink car that I just showed. Uh, they have like drawn down the details a bit. It looks a bit simpler. So if you do find yourself in a store looking for a red car, either if you want the saloon car or the cruising car, just take an extra look at the car to see which ones you get. Because if you take a quick look, you might not think about it and then you're like oh I got the cruising car but I wanted a saloon car and you know the other way around. So collecting Sylvanian cars uh, is something that I might not thought that I was going to do. It was one of those things that kind of turned into a like nice mini obsession I think. Uh, I really like the cars that I have now and the only cars that I had from my uh, first round collecting Sylvanian is this, of course, the red saloon car. The family cars I have gotten re recently, like the last year or so. 
and I also actually want to get the green family car. Uh, you kind of can see what, <laughs> what mold I like for my cars. And the green car is actually a car that I did own and that I did sell when I was downsizing my collection. And as you can see, I kind of regretted that. So I'm looking to get one of those to add to my collection. And another car that I want is a wedding car. So Sylvanian has made two wed wedding cars. One that is more simple, that kind of reminds of the uh, family car or like the saloon car, like a hybrid between those two. And they also made a classical white car, which is stunning. And I really want to get that one. It's a bit pricier, of course, since it's a bit older and, you know, kind of special car. So sometimes, uh, sometime I hope to be able to add that one to my collection. And that's my car collection at the moment. I got four cars. As I said, I do want to get the green car, which I'll probably get in the near future. Further down the line, I want the wedding car. And if if I some magical time in the future would be able to have more space, I would want to get the camper van. It looks really cool. Uh, in total, according to the Sylvania family's Wikipedia page, the Toyland has produced 11 cars, 2 camper vans, 3 food trucks, 6 buses, including normal buses and school buses, 1 motorcycle and 1 caravan. And these are the like motor driven ones that are more like vehicles but they also made like caravans uh, that connected to horses and such so I'm not including those. Uh, and I found this information, as I said, on the Sylvania Wikipedia. I will leave a link down below so you can see that. Also the little mini pictures that I found on the cars that I'm talking about that I don't have uh, are also from that page. So if you want to check that out, you can. The, there, it's a good place to find different sets and to make your wallet starve when you realize all of the sets that you want, that you don't have, but you need and cost money. So yeah, that's basically it for this video. I do hope you liked it. It was fun for me to make and share my little car collection. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. And if you want to see more of my videos, please feel free to subscribe. I have a ton of Slovenian videos in my backlog and I'm going to make more in the future because it's an amazing toy line. And that's everything for today. I do hope that you have a lovely, lovely day and take care. See you next time. Bye.